Assalamualaikum and hello everyone In this video, we're going to learn a new subtopic Which is 13.2 Nomenclature Or another name for it is Naming So, we're going to draw the structure and name the benzene derivatives For the mono substituted benzene So, mono, it means we have one substituent lah And then, we're going to uh, learn about the di substituted benzene We have two substituent Tri and tetra substituted benzene Which means we have three and four and then we're going to apply IUPAC rules to name the compound with C6H5, which is your phenyl, or C6H5CH2, which is your benzyl as substituent. Okay. So let's look for the mono substituted benzene, which is benzene is the parent name and the substituent is indicated by prefix. Okay, question A. So kita tengok. So here is your benzene. So ini adalah parent name lah ataupun the last name. Okay, so substituent ni adalah nama dia adalah chlorine. But then chlorine nama substituent dia jadi chloro. So that's for question A. Okay, so for uh, question B. So again the bromine but then the substituent akan jadi bromo. So the name would be Bromobenzene Okay, for question C Betul kan, I don't want it to be chlorine I want it to be fluorine So, fluorine, the substituent jadi fluoro So, the name would be oh, Fluorobenzene Okay, for question D The NO2 So, it's an, uh, a new compound kita tengok The name is actually nitro So, what is actually So, apa akan jadi naming dia Dia akan jadi nitrobenzene Okay, so next question E pula. We have two carbon here. So, it means that we have ethyl. So, dia adalah ethyl benzene kita. Okay, so that's question A until E. Okay, so again, uh, kalau untuk letters, no space lah. Sebab itulah dia dekat sahaja. Okay, so now let's look for F. So, F ni is actually methyl benzene. Tapi, it's uh, the, apa ni? the commonly used name dia adalah Toluin. Okay. So, that is for F. Okay. G. Okay. So, class dia adalah alcohol where we used to can. Functional group dia adalah hydroxyl. Tapi, bila the substituent, kita akan namakan dia sebagai hydroxy. So, here is hydroxy benzene or we also known it as mostly known as our phenol. Okay. So, untuk H. H and H2. Okay. Ni lain eh. NO2 nitro and H2 adalah our Amino Okay So kalau naming dia Dia akan jadi Amino Benzene Or kita akan nak, Usually we call it as Aniline Dia aniline eh Bukan aniline Okay So that's for H Okay Kalau I So this is actually Your carboxylic acid So Okay Nama dia boleh jadi uh, Ini panjang sikit lah Benzene carboxylic acid Okay Tapi We usually call it as Benzoic acid Okay, so J, so CHO ni is actually your aldehyde. Okay, so this is actually our, apa ni, apa ni nama dia? Structure lah. Uh, carbon tu dah ada four bond. So, this is actually aldehyde kita. Okay, tapi uh, what will be the name? So, dia kalau kita gabungkan jadi benzene aldehyde. Or, we're going to call it as um, benzaldehyde. Uh, usually, you call it as benzaldehyde. So, Okay, so apa pula beza dia dengan kita punya G? Okay, so Masih lagi C double bond O But right now, carbon C double bond O tu attached to CH3 Okay, the name that we, we usually use it Okay, the, no, the name most commonly known is actually Acetophenone Okay, so this is all for the case for of mono substituted benzene Okay, so right now we're going to look for the di substituted benzene So, dia kata for two identical substituent position are indicated Okay, so here, okay, again Kalau numbering, we want it to be the small number uh, Anyway, you're going to number it We're still going to have the same number So, that adalah dibromon to dibromo uh, benzene Question B pula You will be So anyway number it You're going to have the same number So the name is actually 1,3-dibromo Benzene Okay question C Okay question C ni Kita dapat 1,4-dibromo Benzene Okay But then when we look at here Dia ada kata dekat sini uh, Prefixes ortho meta para Or we're going to use the OMP So ortho tu what does it mean Is the substituent pada number 1 and 2 Meta pada 1 and 3 And para is actually 1 and 4 Okay 
But then yang uh, untuk naming tu We're going to use the only the first letter So kita tengok untuk case 1, 2 dan bromo Benzene So 1, 2 is actually our orto So orto We're going to take the O only lah So another name for it is actually O dibromo benzene So it means that we know lah Dia adalah It's actually orto dibromo benzene Okay kalau 1, 3 is actually meta So meta we're going to only use the M letter So M dibromo benzene Question C dia jadi 1 for dibromo Another name for it adalah uh, Para So para it means uh, we're going to take the P letter Okay so dia jadi P dibromo benzene Question D and E, you should try it yourself. Okay, now let's look for the case of dye, substitute benzene. For two different substituents, we're going to select one that gives new parent name and number as carbon number one. So, yang ini is a new thing. Okay, so let's uh, let's look here. Okay, mana yang lagi atas, that will be the parent name. Okay, mana if here, kita ni carbon select acid, the parent name will be benzoic acid. CHO is our benzyl dehyde. Okay, and then OH akan jadi parent jadi phenol. And H2 is aniline. Okay, so here is actually yang priority dia is higher lah. But then yang ini misalkan guna the one that we always use sahaja. So, here's the parent name. Macam mana kalau dia jadi substituent? Okay, so dalam kes ni, uh, hanya I'm just going to look for the case yang naming dia yang kita selalu we always see in the example itself. So, kalau halogen dia jadi substituent, uh, dia adalah jadi fluoro. Promo kloro. Kalau iodo pun ada. NO2, nama dia jadi nitro. Okay. Kalau NH2, dia jadi amino. OH adalah hydroxy. Okay, now let's look for the example A. We have carboxylic acid and we have NO2 which is nitro. So, when we look at the priority, carboxylic acid is the highest one. So, it will be the parent lah. Which will be our benzoic acid. And we will number it as number 1. Okay, so we want the substance to be the smallest number. So, kita nak NO2 tu pada number 2 lah. So, again, NO2 what is the substituent? Okay, NO2 the substituent name is Nitro, so dia adalah 2 nitro benzoic acid Ataupun you want to write ortho nitro benzoic acid pun boleh Okay, question B is between NH2 dengan OH So, which one is the priority? So, it's nearer to each other But then kita tengok OH is higher So, yang itu akan jadi parent kita So, the name will be phenol And that will be carbon number 1 pada our OH And then NH2 pada number 2 So, number 2 dia jadi 2 Uh, dia jadi amino, 2 amino phenol ataupun same masa boleh jadi lagi orto amino phenol. Okay, C and D you should try yourself. Cuma D ni betulkan, I don't want it to be CL, I'm going to name it as CHO. Okay, so that's for the dye substituted benzene. Now let's look for the case of tri and tetra substituted benzene. Okay. Again, position must be indicated by number which we want it to be a small number. Okay, listed alphabetically. So, question A. So, again, priority kita masih lagi carboxylic acid kita. So, here is, I'm going to label number 1. So, here is my benzoic acid. Okay, lepas so we want it to be a small number. So, contohnya, if I use the orange one, I'm going to have number 4 and 5. If I use the purple one, my substitute uh, will be number 3 and 4. Again, we want to be small number. Kita akan ambil 3, 4. Okay, but then we're going to list it alphabetically. Okay, so the name of substituent, satu adalah bromo, another one is OH apa? Hydroxy, kalau jadi substituent. Okay, again, bila nak tulis, kita akan ambil alphabet. So, which one akan jadi awal? Bromo lah. Okay, again, number mana yang kita akan ambil? We want it to be the small number. Okay, so again, bromo pada number 3. Eh, sorry, bromo pada number 4 and hydroxy pada number 3. Okay, so that is for question A. Again, kalau between um, between the numbers, we're going to use comma. But between letter dengan number, we're going to use dash. Jangan lupa yang inilah. Okay, so sebab itulah dia nampak banyak sikit dash dekat sini kan. Okay, so for question B, okay, dia ada 4 substituent. Again, we're going to look what is the parent. So, parent dia masih lagi benzoic acid. That is for number 1 lah. Labelkan number 1. But then, yang ni you should try it yourself. Okay, question C. 
So we have three substituent. Again, carboxylic acid kita is our parent sebab dia adalah the highest priority. So the name would be benzoic acid. Okay. So next kita akan tengok how about the numbering. We want it to be small number. So if we use the orange one, uh, the substituent adalah pada position 3 and 5. Kalau purple pun 3 and 5. So either way pun boleh jugalah. Okay, but then substituent kita adalah identical. So, uh, we're not only going to write hydroxy. They are two identical. So, they dah dihydroxy. Uh, pada position number 3 and 5. Okay, so now let's look for question D. So, question D, we have three substituent. We have chloro, bromo dengan iodo lah. All of it is actually halogen. But when we look it, we look at the list of priority is the least prioritized substituent. So what will happen here adalah the, the parent name would be benzene. Okay, but then sekarang ni when we have three different substituent and priority dia berbeza, priority dia sama sahaja. So what we're going to do adalah we're going to make sure it have the small number possible. And um, first letter tu, the small letter lah. Um, apa ni, the earlier letter. So, I'm going to name the substituent. So, chloro, bromo dengan iodo. Okay, bromo sama sahaja. Tapi, pada chloro dengan iodo, it's, uh, it has two different uh, possible choices. Okay, again, uh, ingat untuk uh, rule for naming ni, what we want is actually the smaller number must be, eh, uh, this, uh, apa ni, to the earlier letter. So, maknanya kalau ABC, kalau if we sing the ABC song, ah uh, small letter tu kena yang mana earlier letter lah. Again, dalam pembayaran ni, bromo ni sama sahaja pada number 2. So, we're going to look for the case chloro dengan iodo. If I use the orange one, so this will be my name and purple one. Jadi, macam ni lah. But then again, we want small number mestilah pada uh, earlier letter. So, that's why we're going to choose the orange one. Okay, so, but then when we name it, kita kena lah ikut alphabet kita. So, if we sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I song, so bromo dulu. So, we're going to write down bromo dulu. Bromo tu pada position number berapa? They, it's actually two bromo. Okay, lepas bromo, we're going to use chloro. Chloro pada carbon number one. One chloro and then last one adalah three iodo. So, that's for question D. Okay. Again, sebab uh, yang ini parent dia jadi benzene. Sebab dia punya halogen is the least prioritized one. But when we look at question E, we have three juga halogen. But then kita ada OH kat sini which is higher priority. So, OH will be our parent. So, yang ini mesti lebihkan number one. Okay. Question F, we have four substituent. But then again, uh, kita tengok carboxylic acid ada uh, kat situ. So, it will be the parent. Okay, so question E and F, you could try it yourself. Okay, so now let's look for the case of benzene as substituent. So when it is substituent, we're going to call it as um, phenyl. So when it is at sini, it's actually phenyl. So let's look at example A here. So when we look here, we have carbon kita, we have 8. Okay, so bila dia 8, dia adalah octane. Okay, pada carbon number berapa dia ada kita punya benzene as substituent? Remember, 2. So, dia adalah 2 phenyl octane. But then again, remember, dia kalau alkin kita tu more than 6 carbon. So, question A ada 8. Question B, we have 7. So, bila dia more than 7, 6, dia jadi parent. So, dia akan jadi pada carbon number 3 ada phenyl. 3 phenyl heptane. Question C, okay, longest carbon chain kita ada is actually berapa? We have 8. Okay, so here... Miss nak namakan substituent all the um, substituent present. Okay, so uh, the number adalah 245. If actually I use the other way around, I'm going to have 347 which is which is a big number lah. So we're going to took we're going to take 245. Okay, so again when we name it, we're going to name it using uh, by apa ni? Uh, alphabet. So first we're going to use ethyl. So for ethyl 5 methyl and then carbon number 2 we have 2 phenyl octane ok so that is actually naming kalau phenyl macam biasa lah ambil huruf M eh huruf fin M pula ambil P ok next we're going to look at macam mana kalau chain tu ada functional group 
Okay, so here we have carbon-carbon double bond kita. So, there's two ways of uh, numbering it. Okay, kita tengok kita punya alkin memang number 2 je. So, tak ada masalah. Again, kita nak substitute the smallest number possible. So, question ini, kita akan dapat 1 phenyl, 2 hexene, eh, 2 hexene, 2 butene. Okay, so that's for question A. I'm going to use the orange one. Okay, question B, kita tengok functional group kita adalah OH. So, we want yang ada OH tu, the smallest number possible lah. Okay, so, pada number, carbon number 1 and 2. So, Pada carbon, uh, the name would be ethanol. Tapi pada carbon number 2, we have our phenyl. So, 2 phenyl ethanol. Question C and D, you should try it yourself. Last but not least, we're going to look for the case of benzyl. Okay, kalau phenyl C6H5, benzyl ni dah ada extra CH2 kat sini. So, here is your phenyl. Uh, here is your benzyl. So, ni nama dia jadi benzyl bromide. Okay, kalau question B ni, Ni pun ada benzal juga. Tapi kalau OH, we're going to add nama dia lain sikit lah. Dia adalah name dia jadi benzal alcohol. Okay. So again, the CH2, the name would be benzal. So that's the last of name.